Hi everyone, this is Heather from WeddingsByHeather.com, where my goal is to equip you with the best techniques and tips to make you a better and more efficient photographer. In this Q&A video, we are going to take a look at Lightroom catalogs, but first, make sure you check out my free workflow video series available on my website. This week's question comes from Lily and she writes, I think all of my photos are in one giant catalog and Lightroom is taking up a ton of space on my computer, even though I store the raw files on an external hard drive. It makes everything run slow. How do I fix that? Before I address the issue of one giant catalog, <laughs> let's take a look at some of the catalog settings inside of Lightroom. In order to access these preferences, you simply need to press command comma on the Mac. That's control comma on the PC. And then in the bottom right, click go to catalog settings. When I received this question, I had a sneaking suspicion that this had to do with backup catalogs. But let me say this, I have my backup catalog set to every time Lightroom exits. That is, when I exit Lightroom using Command Q on the Mac or Control Q on the PC, Lightroom says to me, hey, would you like to back up this catalog? If I've done a lot of work that day, why then yes, I would like you to back up my catalog. And if I haven't, I simply skip it. But remember, you are not backing up your photographs. You are only backing up the Lightroom catalog, which is a database. It's basically all of the work that you've done on those photographs. You need to have a separate strategy for backing up your photos. So the way this function works is every time it backs up your catalog, it puts an exact duplicate of your catalog in a folder called backups that it created. So the next question is where? If you click show in order to view where you have saved your catalog, you will see that mine is saved right here in this training folder and there it is. And for my demo videos, this is saved on my desktop, but I never do that with my client files. It is always saved on an external hard drive. If you wanna learn more about my overall workflow, you can reference those free workflow videos on my website. You'll notice inside of here, there is a folder called backups. I did not create that folder. Lightroom did it for me. And every time I said back up my catalog, Lightroom created a folder with a date and time showing me that it backed up that catalog. And if we look inside of one of those folders, that's exactly what we'll see, a duplicate of that catalog. Okay, so but at any given time, you really only need the most recent catalog. So you can remove the others from this backup folder. Do I wish that Lightroom had an automated way to do this where I could simply check a box and say, hey, every so often go in and purge my old backup catalogs and only keep the most recent? Well, yes, I think that would be ideal, <laughs> but that's just not the way it works. So periodically, I manually come into this folder. I look for the most recent backup. In this case, it would be on April the 8th at 8.59 a.m. So what I'm gonna do is just select these other two and delete them because I only need the most recent. So when I was working with Lily on this issue, I asked her to send me a screenshot of her backup catalogs. <laughs> and this is what she sent. And she, she said, do you think this could be part of my problem? <laughs> Well, yes, I do. There are approximately 49 backup catalogs stored on our hard drive. And the thing is, because it's an exact duplicate, they can get pretty large in size. So let's say, you know, a pretty decent catalog might be 350 meg, maybe. So with 49 catalogs at 350 meg, um, I did have to do some math real quick, but I'm looking at probably, I don't know, what is that, 20 or 21 gig worth of space on her hard drive that that's taking up when really she only needs the most recent. I see three years worth of catalog backups in this folder. And the thing is, she wouldn't know that unless someone told her, which is why I'm here. So it would probably be a good idea to go into your Lightroom catalog, show your catalog on your hard drive, whether you are Windows Explorer or Mac Finder, and delete all of the older catalogs and only keep the most recent backup because that's really all that you need. I hope that you found this useful. Please like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.